A-A-A. See you in church. Hi, I'm Manuel. Um, a couple of days ago, I was watching this show about the great uncovering of blah, blah, blah. More or less what they were trying to say was, oh, there were these things that people were able to prove that were fake. <laughs> well, I was able to prove that they don't got a brain. So, a bunch of idiots. Okay, this is why I decided to do it. Because they came out with the dumbest, the dumbest people. And that's the problem. How many retarded people are there in college? Because you got to really be an idiot not to catch on. They talked about the debunking of the of crisis um, wrapping at the end. And I knew they were going to bring it up. I was hoping they weren't that dumb. Okay. Okay. Years ago, there was a fire. It got burned. So what's the first thing the nuns did? They sold on little pieces of fabric onto it. New fabric, not old, new. They can't go in the past and go say, oh, we need some more of this, <laughs> and then bring it back. So we got some retarded scientists. I, I don't know, why are you scientists always a, the breed of retardedness? I know you don't believe in God, so you go out of your way to be retarded and stupid. And when they debunked the retarded scientists, you still don't get it. That's what really annoys me. They were using the, I guess it was supposedly part of the history challenge, uh, channel or some stupid shit like that. And I knew they were going to find this out. They went and they took pieces of the repaired area. See, those are new pieces of fabric. They're not old. But they took pieces of the new stuff that was used to <laughs> fix the burnt fabric. And they tested it. We know that it's not. No, you're an idiot. <laughs> I'm sorry. They went through stuff and they talked about stuff that was just so stupid. And then they didn't even get that right. Okay. Yes, Christopher Columbus never made it to America. Yeah, we know that. You still want to hooray him? That's your business. I don't care. He has nothing to do with me. Um, I Yeah, I'm an American, but I'm a Hispanic American. He is, I don't know. I don't want to claim him. But even though Spain paid for him to come over here. So technically, because I'm Hispanic, I still should care that that guy was an idiot. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> he thought he was going to China and he came to almost Mexico. <laughs> the Caribbean. It's just so stupid and boring. And then they called the two other people. They're trying to push it to the Italian. The Italian! But we know that the Vikings were here before he did. So why are you still trying to put incorrect information on it so let's move on so then they go to what was that one um they did quite a few other stuff which i knew uh, i was surprised they didn't try to debunk the blair witch project that's fake <laughs> it's not a location they made it up it's not a real story Oh, that's a debunking. <laughs> anyway, back to the 
the shroud. The shroud got burnt. Those idiots tested the wrong part of it. They tested the new fabric that was put in to repair the burns. And just like assholes, that's what the debunking talked about. They didn't talk about the debunking of the debunking. Because <laughs> those guys were idiots. They took the fabric pieces of the fabric that was still. They had the opportunity to test the real fabric. And instead they tested the fake. The parts that weren't really part of the storyline. <laughs> idiots. And they're scientists? Oh my gosh. Retards. Anyway. I don't get it. And they keep trying to push, oh, Jesus wasn't Jesus. Jesus was Jesus. The problem is, is you don't want to believe in him. That's fine. I'm not going to force you. I don't care. See, when you go to hell, it ain't going to be on me. It's going to be all on you. God might forgive you. I don't care if he does or if he doesn't. That has nothing to do with me. All I know is that you guys are a bunch of idiots Boom. Same thing with all the hate in the Bible. You go find the oldest Bible there is, and all that hate's not there. The one after that, still not there, still not there, still not there, still not there. It takes years before it was added on. But because you churches out there are so in love with hate, what that means you could devil worshipers. Because, see, love is the Lord. Hate is the devil. Yes, in the Old Testament. See, but we're not Jewish. We're Christian. That means we're listening to the part of our Lord Jesus who's love. But anyway, that's not my job to try to fix you so that you can go to the Lord. Some people say it is. I am. Uh, I'm going to let you be who you are. I know you desire to be. I'm not going to chase after you like the wackadoodle in the corner at where I used to live that was yelling um, horrific stuff at women that were showing their breasts. Horrific stuff at a man who you could see his penis through his pants. I would have never seen it if he hadn't yelled and pointed down there and I looked where he was pointing and that guy's pants zipper was open and you could see his whole dick. It was small, but <laughs> you could see it. <laughs> and it's false. But anyway, that's besides the point. It's just so stupid. You rather hate? See, if it wasn't for God, you wouldn't be able to do science. So, there was a, a movie way back that took the Lord and took the expansion of the universe and everything and the time and everything and they connected it and to show that it fit. Then um, there was a storyline I watched. Well, if this blah, 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 blah. Well, they laid it out and if you took everything they were saying and just moved it over, it all connected. But they weren't smart enough to connect it because they were scientists. <laughs> yeah, let's not fix the science. Let's let it look like and make you look like idiots. And that's the thing. These people are just so tiring. But who am I to tell them to believe in the Lord? That's their choice. They choose not to. Don't believe in him. And when you're burning in hell, don't throw your stones at me. I don't care. But instead of being assholes... Just get your facts right, because you can at least do that. That's science. And when you're wrong, you're wrong.
When you test the wrong fabric saying, telling you it's only been 10 years, could it be that it's 10 year old fabric? You know that thing's been sitting over there more than a hundred years. So you had to at least say, excuse me, I guess we got a thread from the wrong piece. Well, could it be because it was only a triangle <laughs> where you pulled the thread out and so it's only that much? Retards. But what do you think? How do you feel about that? Is it acceptable to you? Because it isn't to me. But don't forget to subscribe to my channel, leave a little message, put the hand up high, and tell me something you'd like to talk about. Because I'm getting too much information from idiots like that to talk about. <laughs> and give me your opinions of how you feel and what do you think about the idiocy of the scientists that are coming out of the college system. But remember, AA, see you in church.